Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film a thrift haul for you guys. I went up to Value Village 50% off sale and picked up some stuff for myself, for the kids, and a little bit of stuff for home, but not too much. So mostly clothing, so let's just hop right in. I'll start with the stuff for myself. So the first thing I got was this dress here. It's originally from Forever 21, so it's not like the greatest quality, but I just really like the pattern and the light cotton material. So it's this just right here, it's sort of cinched at the waist and then goes out a little flared. It's kind of short, so I may wear it with leggings. The full price was $13, so I got it for $6.50. Next, I picked up this velour top. You're either gonna love this or hate this, but I thought this would be quite a statement t-shirt. So it's this t-shirt here. It's uh, a little bit short and it's got this sort of crushed velvet look to it and uh, it was, let's see, $4.50 so it was $2.25 and I just really liked it. I thought it was kind of unique and fun so I picked that up for myself. Then I went looking for a t-shirt that had some type of detailing on it that wasn't just a plain t-shirt because I have a lot of plain t-shirts in my wardrobe. So I found this one. It is plain because it's black but uh, it's got a little bit of crochet sort of up around the shoulders. I just thought that was really pretty and gave it a neat little detail. And so that was $7.99, so I got it for $4. And I think it's just gonna be a perfect summertime top. The next and last top for myself was this top here, and it's my most favorite find of the day. It is a silk top, and it's a collar top, but it's sleeveless, and it's this beautiful gray color. So this is it right here. It's kind of got a shimmer on it, and uh, it's wrinkly right now because it was just in the bag. But it's uh, sort of a no-name brand it's called San Francisco, but it is 73% silk. So it's got a nice sheen to it. It was $9, so it cost me $4.50, and I think it's going to be beautiful in the summertime. Then I picked up a couple pairs of jeans, the first one being these just black skinny jeans, which I am going to sort of cut off at the ankle just to make them more summer weather jeans and uh, but they're nice and light they were six dollars and 99 cents so they were three dollars and 50 cents for me i think they're originally from h m yes they are uh, but anyway i picked those up for three dollars and 50 cents then i found a pair of i guess they're called jeggings because they don't have a button or a fly they are also originally i think from h m yes and they are these pants here there's a lot of pattern going on here, but uh, I would pair this with a more neutral, sort of solid colored top. I just really thought the pattern was something fun, so I picked those up. They were $13, and uh, half price, they were $6.50. Then last item for myself was a pair of jeans. They're from the Hollister brand, which I've never purchased before, so, and I also, because it was 50% off day, didn't want to try anything on because the lineups were too long, and I just didn't have the energy. So I bought them assuming that I would fit them, which may or may not be a good idea. I've never tried Hollister brand jeans before, so I don't know how the fit is. I haven't tried them on just yet. Uh, but it, they look to be like a good size, so fingers crossed that they fit. Uh, but there are these lighter wash here, which I don't have any lighter wash jeans, so I picked these ones up and they're actually sort of distressed. So I thought that was kind of neat. I think these will look great in the summertime. These were actually quite pricey. They were $20 new, so I actually ended up paying $10 for these. Next is some stuff for the kids. So I'll start with Miriam's things. I was looking for some sort of baggier, uh, more like boyfriend, although I don't want to say that because she's three, <laughs> boyfriend fit uh, jeans. And uh, just so that I could sort of have the bottoms and sort of maybe distress them a bit because she had a pair like that last year and I just thought that they were the cutest things ever. So I found a couple pairs of jeans like that. So these are Ralph Lauren jeans. They're size four, so they may be a little bit too big. We'll see. Um, but they were $1.99, so they only cost me a dollar. So even if I have to wait till next year till they fit her, that's fine. Cute little Ralph Lauren jeans and they have this cute little pocket detail. So I thought those were worth the dollar. Then I found these Cherokee jeans and they are size four. They will not fit her just by the look of them. But they were a classic jean that I thought that I would just put away for her for next year. They were $2.50, so $1.25 for these. Then I found these super cute um, jeans here, which you can probably tell why I like them. They're this animal print here, and uh, I just think these are going to look adorable on her uh, this spring and summer. They were also $2.50, so they were $1.25. Then my favorite find for her were these little overalls that I found. They are originally from Old Navy. They were $5. They ended up being $2.50. But they're these little overalls here that sort of have a nice wide 
flare at the bottom. I think these are gonna look super, super cute in the summertime uh, without a shirt underneath, just sort of plain with a little pair of sandals and uh, I think she's gonna look adorable in that. In terms of Jude, he's pretty stocked for clothing, but he did need a couple pair of shorts for this summer. Just these black, uh, plain, looks like they've never been worn, uh, jogging shorts. Uh, they were $1.99, so they cost a dollar. They're size five, so those will be perfect for this summer, for just sort of casual days. And then I'm always on the lookout for jeans for Jude because he wears through the knees like crazy. So these are Old Navy skinny jeans, just plain black size five, those will fit him now. So I picked those up. They were more pricey than the regular jeans just because they're in such excellent condition. They probably haven't been worn. So they were $5 and so I got them for $2.50. Another pair of jeans I found him were these sort of jeggings. So I imagine they were girls jeans to begin with, uh, but he likes them. He's, he likes that there's no fly on them. So, uh, cause they have another pair like that. So they're size six. So I think they'll fit him. They're this nice dark wash. Uh, skinny little ankle and uh, they are were $4.99 so they cost $2.50. Then last clothing item, uh, just these shorts for Jude, jean shorts, size four, but I think they'll fit him because he's sort of have a slim waist. Uh, they were $3.50 so they were $1.75. $1.75, yes. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, I picked those up for summertime for him. And then there's just three more items in their home decor items, so I will share them with you. First item being this little planter sort of watering can thing here. I just thought it was so cute. The way it was distressed in this green color, I absolutely loved because I love the color green. And uh, it was 99 cents, not on sale, but I just think that will look super adorable with some flowers in it uh, somewhere around my home. So I picked that up for 99 cents. Then I saw this gorgeous fabric and I had to buy it. <laughs> it is this lacy fabric here in sort of a blush pink. Such a pretty color and it's got like the little flowers. I picked that up for Miriam's room. I most likely use it as curtains in her room. Uh, but the fabric was $10.99, so $11. And it's like a whole bunch of fabric, like a huge amount of fabric. But it was 50% off. So I spent $5.50 on this. And then my last purchase here was a tablecloth. And it's this black tablecloth here. And I don't know, it has chickens on it or roosters on it. I'm not really sure what uh, drew me to this, but I just like the black with the flowers. I love a black pa uh, background with flowers on top. So anyway, um, this is it here. It's super pretty pattern. It does have roosters on it. So it was uh, $9.99, but 50% off. So I got it for $5. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel but want to see more videos from me, you might as well hit the red subscribe button below so that you don't miss a video from me in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.